my hello. Oh, I had some saltine crackers and some odds and ends for candy and everything. So I thought I'd make, well, I guess it's known as various names. Uh, they call it crack candy where you make your toffee with your butter and your brown sugar and you cook it for like three minutes or so at a good boil on the stove and you get a baking sheet and you line it with foil and you want to make sure very important you spray that foil real good because still sometimes because of that sticky toffee um it can still stick to the foil a little bit so you want to make sure you spray your your aluminum foil really well okay and then you want to line your baking sheet with your saltine crackers and here i'm using the original premium saltine crackers and it's a little over one sleeve, one package, because I'm using a total of 51. I have 48, which is two, four, six, eight going this way, and then six going that way, which makes 48. And then I took three square crackers, and I cut them just so they fit just along the side. Can you see that? So I'm using a total of 51, okay? And now what we're going to do is we're going to get our toffee made. We're going to use one and a quarter cups of unsalted butter and one and one fourth cups of light brown sugar. And we're going to put that on the stove and get that cooked. Okay. Okay. Now I've got my two and a quarter sticks of butter melted and one and one fourth cups of brown sugar. And then I boiled it for three minutes. And as you can see, it starts to get thick. And then I added one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Just stirring it up good. And now I'm going to pour it all over the crackers. Lots of chocolate. You want a nice even layer. Mmm, smells good. Okay. Now you want to quickly spread it. It won't take long for it to start setting and thickening up. Then we're going to throw it in a 350 degree oven for about five minutes. Okay. You want to try to cover all your crackers. And then while this is in the oven, you want to thing for a few minutes. I'll show you what I'm going to put on top of mine. You can use M&Ms, um, different candies, coconut. Like I said, whatever you like whatever you have on hand at home. And I'm using just some of the stuff that I just happen to have here. Okay, it's almost all covered. It's hard, I, I wanna grab a piece of this right now. what it looks like. Everything's all covered. You see how the caramel's starting to set? All right. And that's what it looks like. Now we'll put it in the oven for about five minutes. Okay, and now 
you're going to need about 12 ounces or so of chocolate chips. I'm using almost a full bag of uh, 12 ounce Nestle's Whole House. And then I'm also going to use a quarter cup of white chocolate chips. And I might throw on some marshmallows too. And a little bit of coconut. And then I have some little mini Reese's peanut butter cups that I just quartered. I throw some of them on. And some little mini Mr. Good, Good Bars that I cut up. And some Hershey's milk chocolate, the little minis. And then a little mini Hershey's special dark chocolate. All right, I got them already cut up into what size pieces I wanted. And I might even throw on a little pistachio nuts on one end of it. Okay. Okay, that's been in for about five minutes. You can see how that's all bubbled up real nice. Now you're going to take the chocolate chips and just spread them all out. And then you're going to stick it back in the oven only for about a minute. Okay? I'm also going to sprinkle the whites on. Okay. Just like that. And now put it right back in the oven for a minute. Okay, just come out of the oven, and for a minute, that's what it looks like. And you don't have to keep your oven on because the oven's plenty hot enough. Just leave it in there till the chips start melting. Okay, now we're going to spread it. Just like that. You can see how easy and nice it spreads. But, you know, if it's Christmas time, go with uh, pretty colored M&Ms if you'd like. I did them one year for Christmas, and that's what I did. But here I just thought I'd throw in some of my mini chocolates. Finish up the chocolate chips that I had. Okay, I do this corner. Wanna make sure it's all covered. Just like that. Okay, it's all covered. And now while it's hot, put on it whatever you like. I'm going to put some of the little mini Nestle's or mini Nestle Mr. Good Bars on it. Just all around different spots so everybody gets a little. And then some of the little Reese's mini peanut butter cups. Just all over. Like I said, you put on it whatever you want or as little as you want. 
It'd be good just stopping with the, the chocolate chips. But we all love chocolate, so. All right. Now for the other two types of mini candy bars, the dark special chocolate and the Hershey's milk chocolate. Now I'm not going to do them all with nuts, only a little bit because some of them don't like nuts. Okay, put a little marshmallow on it. That would be good. All right, I think that's plenty of marshmallow. Now, in some of it, I'm going to do a little coconut. Probably about half of it. Okay, and then the half I got coconut on, I'm going to put on some pistachio nuts. Or I'll just put it on all of it, and they can, if they don't want the nuts, just take it off. Okay. And that's that. I could even torch the top of the marshmallows and give it a nice golden brown look. All right, I'm gonna let that cool for a little while at room temperature, and then I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator for a few hours. So it's nice and set. Okay, it's all set. Can you see that? Remember, I only did one half with coconut. Now we'll take it right out of the baking sheet and see how we do peeling the paper, foil off it. So far, so good. Very nice. Okay, that's the bottom of it. And there's that. And now you can either just break it up or you could take a knife and just cut it up. And there you have it. Okay. Give it a little try. Mmm. This is really good. Give it a try. Put whatever you want on it. You know, whatever you like. Okay, everybody. We all take care. God bless you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.